morning. It's Monday, June 24th. What's going on? Last week, Willie Mays passed away. Maybe you don't know who Willie Mays is, but when I was a kid growing up, we considered Willie Mays to be the second greatest baseball player only to Babe Ruth. I got to see him at the end of his career, only on TV, uh, play when he was playing for the New York Mets. Hey, speaking about baseball, last week, a couple of neighbors and I, we went to see the Kane County Cougars play. Highly competitive game. We got to see a three-run home run. We got to see a grand slam. Unfortunately, the Cougars lost eight to seven in extra innings. Highly competitive, a lot of fun. If you want something, $15 to get in, $10 for parking. I should get paid for that advertisement, right? <laughs> anyway, hey, what about David Calhoun, the president, of C, uh, president and CEO of Boeing? He's on the hot seat right now, isn't he? But aren't we all on the hot seat with this weather? Anyway, let's get to today's topic. That's right, today we're gonna to talk about how to get cheaper health insurance. So, if you're buying your health insurance through the marketplace and you don't qualify for premium credits or subsidies, it can be incredibly expensive. What do you do? Hey, let's take a look at an example here of what I'm talking about. We've got a family of four here. They have a 2250 deductible, co-insurance is 5050 with an out-of-pocket per person of 9450, and they're paying about $3,100 a month. Wow! That's a substantial chunk of change into anybody's budget, isn't it? However, if they were working for a typical employer, at least employers that I have in the same general area, a comparable policy through their employer with the comparable deductible but much better coinsurance than 50-50 would cost about $1,900 a month. Wow, huge difference, isn't that? So one of the reasons that you're getting these differences is based upon rating. Uh, an individual policy rates each individual. A group policy can rate based on tiering, and tiering can be an employee single, an employee plus a spouse, two people, employee plus children without a spouse, and that's child or children, one or more children, and family, employee, spouse, and one or more children. So the family rate can be a lot cheaper through a group plan than buying it on your own. When you buy the insurance through the employer, most employers from my experience are picking up 75% the cost for the insurance for the employee, meaning employee, you're only paying about 25%. This is a rule of thumb. And most employers are picking up about 50% the cost for their dependents. So employees, you're paying 50% the cost. So this would be substantially reduced than if you had to go and buy insurance through the marketplace on your own. So this cost sharing from the employer business's concern is advantageous to the employer because they're not paying as much for the insurance and it's advantageous to the employee because they're not paying as much as if they had to buy it on their own. And there's another thing that an employer can do. An employer can have what we call a IRS Section 125 POP, premium only plan. And this is where premiums can be deducted from the employee on a before tax basis. It reduces income, so it reduces some of the other expenses to the employer associated with payroll. Now you know there's some very fine insurance companies out there, and one I introduced to you a few weeks ago, Optimal and uh, Allstate Benefits, that have a different type of a program where they medically underwrite, they have a claims fund account, and for you employers out there, if you have these plans and your groups are healthy groups, you're paying less premiums than you would if you went to the traditional Affordable Care Act type policies offered by other carriers, not to be named here today, not to embarrass them. Uh, but then if there's money left over in this claims fund account at the end of the year, that goes back to the employer and that can be used to reduce next year's premium. Woohoo! Win-win, right? And so here's another thing is that when you're looking at this claims fund account, now remember, it's not about not getting health care. It's not about that. But people, when they have better ownership in their policies, they tend to use it much, much more responsibly. And that also helps keep costs down for these types of groups. Medically underwritten policies for healthy groups offer lower premiums. You can have better claims experience offering lower premiums, maybe for the next year as a result. Those are all better than the typical Affordable Care Act or SHOP policies. Mark, are you saying that the Affordable Care Act is bad? Uh, absolutely not. Not saying that. I am saying that 
employers and people out there in general should shop around, find out what's best for your situation, for your group, and companies like Allstate Benefits and Optimal, they're really, could be very good alternatives for you out there. And for those of you who are buying insurance on your own, if you have an employer that offers it, take a good look at what they have. Because typically, I would tell you, the employer's policy is typically cheaper and it's usually better coverage. Hey, so what's going on at the MLD agency? Well, last week we helped a couple people with their Medicare situation, got a dental policy issued, a couple people for their home and automobile insurances, and still working with these two groups for converting them over to better plans for their, their businesses. The other thing is today, Monday, the certification for 2025 is available. So going to be working on that uh, for probably the next um, couple of months, trying to get everything certified for 2025 so we can be right there taking care of your needs. In any case, whatever you need, we'll have your best interest at heart. Give us a call, bottom of the screen. Look forward to talking to you.